Hey guys, this is Jameer and you are watching JDCAD. In this video tutorial, I will tell you how we can make a dynamic block in AutoCAD. Maybe this video is going to be a long video, but be patient and uh, just watch the video. Maybe there are uh, some new things that you will find in this video. First of all, let me tell you that what a dynamic block is and why we need to use dynamic block in our drawings. Dynamic block is a simple block with some extra functionality and rules. Added to it, you can assign the functions like rotation, size, and appearance of the blocks. Uh, in this drawing, I am trying to finalize the house plan, uh, and only the doors are needed to be added in this drawing. Uh, as you can see, that there are different types of doors. I have to add the D3 is two feet and six inches. D1 is three feet and six inches. This is also 3 feet and 6 inches. They do have different dimension. And even more, there are some other uh, parameters like D2 is horizontally aligned, and in here it is vertically aligned. So the angle of the door is also different. And maybe some doors are opening to the right and some opening to the left. So this is also another function that we have to add in the block. Uh, and here is my block that I want to use for this drawing. Uh, it is simple an arc and two polylines are lines. First of all, let us convert this block to uh, uh, this line work and arc and this objects to my block. Simply I will hit enter B and enter. It will open block definition. I will name it as uh, my G R. Then door will be the name of my block. From base point, I will pick point. I will pick point at the base of door. It will be here. This is the point that, uh, which will be inserted. It will be used to insert the block. According to shown here, from settings, I will not change the settings. It will, uh, anyhow, it will stay from the drawing setting. From objects, uh, I will select object. Click here and draw window, select objects, and hit enter. Now, from here, there are different options like retain, convert block, delete. I will convert the block. Behavior you can select to, uh, to be annotated or scale uniformly, allow exploring. A description I will say it is a dynamic door. Dynamic door block. It is saying it is a block reference and its name is store. Okay, as we specified. And now we can use this uh, block in as many times as we can, as we need in my drawing in here, here, here. But the, the main thing I have to do is uh, to add some functionality, to add some extra um, options that if that same block can be used for D3 and D2 and D1 means it can be used for all it has to be uh, the same block with the rotation with mirror and with the scaling option available in it so let us add the functionality I will just select and right click and select block editor block editor will open Here you can see the block authoring palette. All palette is open. This palette is what we will be using. It has different tabs. From parameters tab, I will select. First of all, I'm going to add uh, scale functionality. It means it should be. Uh, we have to. We have. We will have option to make it smaller or bigger. So, from parameters, I will select linear and click on the base point from here to here. I will click it, it will look like a dimension and click to place it. Here it is. From actions, I will say select scale. I will 
the model I need to map in select parameters. So I will select the so I select the parameters, click and then it is saying select object. I will draw a window around it with the parameter and all the objects. Then I will select enter close block editor save to change it to door. Yes, and here it is. You can see you can scale it without entering a scale command. We can scale the object. Now, another thing we have to add in here is rotation. So, we will select and right click block editor and parameters. I will select rotation, rotation parameter. When I click it, it is saying select base point. Click the base point. From base point, I will select the same as insertion point for the block. Click. It is asking for a specified radius of parameter. I will say 360 or anything you can specify. Specify default rotation angle. We will say anything. We will say 360. Got it? Here it is. Now when you see here, if you zoom here, I can see this is the rotation grip. The rotation grip I have to move it over to over here. And the other thing I can do, I have to modify the, let me say, the radius also. Much bigger. Should be smaller. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. Anyhow, from actions, I will go to rotate, saying select parameter, I'll click it, and select objects. I will say, I will select all, all the parameter, the objects, and the parameter, and the action for the stretch also, everything. And hit enter, and close block editor. Save the changes and here it is. See, you can change it right when we move it. The scale is also moving and the block is also rotating. You can use it right. That's it. So, another functionality that we have to add is mirror, like uh, it should be mirrored to the opposite side as well. And parameters. I will select flip. It is asking for base point of reflection line. I will select, I will click on the base point and to the opposite corner of the door. And here to here it will be. And flip step and click here. And I will drag my flip section let me say grip to here so that when I click here it will be flipped to the opposite side it will be mirror as you can see from actions I will select mm, flip and it is asking for select parameters of the mirror I will select parameter click and select object I will select any all of the objects and hit enter. And now let's see. Let us test it. Close block editor. Save the changes. Here it is. See, it is flipping right. But the problem is, it is all changing to the opposite side. Got it? And here, this all is a different. But uh, how we can fix this issue is go to the block editor and uh, here is the action. Three actions we have added flip, rotate, and uh, uh, scale. For flip action, we have added these all things to the flip action also. For rotation action, we have to modify the Selection set. We will just right click on it. Action selection set. We will modify selection set. Click all and select everything. 
hit enter same we will do for scale same thing we will do for scale action selection set modify selection set and we will select all of them it is just like a cross referencing thing you can say like that just close the block editor save the changes and see it if it's working or not there is something problem as you said scale is working well scale is working fine and the uh, rotation has some problem we will insert a new block do work okay okay we can rotate it, we can flip it, but the rotation is also flipping, so you don't want to flip the rotation action, right? From flip, we will modify the selection set without the rotation action. So select the we will instead we will make a new selection set and it will be during this object this object this object and the flip state also and the scale also rotation it will not be flipped okay that's it we will hit enter close the editor yes See now it is not rotating, not flipping right, rotation action. So this is how you can make even the scale is also getting the rotation one. We don't want to scale the rotation action. We will make a new selection set that will explode the rotation action. Right here this one. This one and this one. Tap rotation, we have selected everything. Hit enter, close the block editor. Okay, here it is. Now the rotation is not changing, right? You see it. So, this is our block and it is ready to use. So, I will delete this all. And I will start inserting my block. Insert enter door. Okay. This is my door two. I will bring it center here. So it is to be bigger. Let's select and drag. And maybe I need it to be opposite side. So I will move it to over here. Then I have to add here. Insert again. To this point, flip it, make it smaller. This is it. And the same thing here. Insert, insert the block at this point. This, it can be flipped. This is it. Same thing here. Insert. Okay, this is it. We can scale it. This is how we can make a block. This is very easy. I have tried my best to make this tutorial simpler and easier. I hope now you can understand the procedure and it will not be a problem for you. Thanks for watching the video. Please do comment below and let me know that. Let me know what is, what is your experience in this and let me know. If you need any other video tutorial as well, uh, visit our new website www.thecattipsandtricks.com and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more upcoming useful tips and tricks. Uh, thanks again for watching the video. Love you.